I took a trip to Istanbul with my family. We saw the mosques, the Grand Bazaar, the Sufi dancers. That night we were traveling up the river, up the Bosporus, from the city to our hotel. As we were backing out of a dock, I looked down and saw there was something wrong with the water. It was pink. So I asked my daughter Mariel to come look with me, and we saw that the entire surface of the river was covered with jellyfish. When I came back home, I read that this is happening all over the world. And the reason is that global warming is putting so much CO2 into the ocean that jellyfish and bacteria are the only things that are going to be able to live in it. So I started asking around about what to do. Turns out people are pretty eager to talk, even to a nobody in particular, if you're really interested in what they have to say. But the more people I talk to, the more I realize something even worse. Global warming isn't a problem. It's a symptom of a much bigger problem. This is an exponential curve, meaning the more time goes on, the faster it goes up. Just about everything we do ends up looking like this eventually. The growth of human population, worldwide demand for oil, airline passenger miles, traffic on the internet, autism spectrum disorders, iTunes song sales. Our entire civilization is based on this kind of growth and we have to keep going up and up forever. Now look at this. This is a bell curve, so-called because it's shaped like a bell. You may remember these from high school. These are the people who got A's, and these are the people who got F's. And this was everybody else. The important thing to remember is that bell curves are natural. That's why the grades spread out like this, and some people are just smarter than others. Nature works in bell curves. But if human activity looks like this, and nature looks like this, what do you get when you mix the two of them together? This is the scary part. Are you ready? Okay, it's just a picture, it's not that scary. But the point is, nature takes us to here, and then we keep going. So, when did we go off nature's curve? Nobody knows the exact date, but 1987 is probably pretty close to when we should have started leveling off. That's when the amount of land it takes to make all the stuff we consume past the amount of land there is on the planet. And where are we now? Turns out you can go past what nature can give you the same way you can Keep buying things you can't afford by running up your credit cards. This is called overshoot. But what happens if you keep charging and charging and never pay off the visa bill? You get nervous. They come and take away your stuff. You end up working all the time until finally you just can't keep it together anymore and crash. You lose your house, divorce, bankruptcy. Sure, you saw the signs, but you kept on going and now you're screwed. So, anyway, this is where we...